cost price of an article increases by rupees 100. See, cost price of an article increases by rupees 100. The selling price increases by 10%. The selling price increases by 10%. If the new profit decreases from 15% to 10%, what is the original cost price? Right? The new profit has decreased from 15% to 10%. What is the original uh, cost price? Is the question here, right? So, so just go, uh, you know, in a step-by-step -step process, right? There, there are only two equations that you need to understand clearly here, right? The cost price has increased by 100. So, original cost price is C, the new cost price is C plus 100, right? Original cost price is C, it has increased by 100. So, new cost price will be C plus 100. The selling price increases by 10%. Selling price increases by 10%. What does it mean? Let's assume the original selling price is S. The new selling price will be 1.1 S. So, this is what is important. You know that increase in 10 percentage would make the selling price 1.1 times. You understand? Increases by 10 percentage means what? S plus 10 percentage of S. Now, S itself is 100 percentage of S. 100 percent plus 10 percent is 110 percent. 110 percent of S is equal to 1.1 S. You understand? So, cost price C, the new cost price C plus 100 as it has increased by 100. Selling price, original selling price is S. The new selling price is 10 percentage more, so 1.1 S. Now, the new profit decreases from 15 percent to 10 percent. The new profit decreases from 15 percent to 10 percent. Which means earlier the profit was 15%. We are talking about profit here, right? The profit earlier was 15%. Now the profit is 10%. Now the profit is 10%. What is the original cost price is the question here. C is equal to what is the question? What is the original cost price? Now, it is very important to analyze this profit part here. You know that the profit has changed from 15% to 10%. Now we very well know, again this has been discussed in our videos on profit and loss, right? In the Talent Sprints program. When the profit is 15%, the selling price is 115% of cost price. If the profit is 15%, selling price can be taken as 115% of cost price. So, the first equation that we get is S equals to 115% of cost price. I, I can say 115% is 1.15C. If, if cost price is C, selling price is S, profit is 15%, the selling price S should be equated as 1.15 times of cost price. 1.15 indicates 115%, 115% of cost price. This is the first equation. And, and if you have... If you are a smart student, if you already know the process, you will not be writing these individual terms on paper, right? You will directly write this equation, S equals to 1.15C, because cost price is C, selling price is S, profit was 15%, S equals to 1.15C. What happens in this case? Understand, profit is 10%. If the profit is 10%, selling price, which is 1.1S, should be 110% of the cost price. Right? So, this indicates that selling price, which is 1.1S, should be 110%. Profit is 10%, so it should be 110 percentage. 110 percentage means what? 1.1 times of the cost price. What is cost price? C plus 100. You understand? Selling price is 1.1 S. Cost price is C plus 100. Profit is 10 percentage. So selling price is 110 percentage of cost price. If you if you saw, see, that's what I was telling, right? It, it depends on what steps or what kind of simplification you do. The, the advantage of taking it is like 1.1, 1.1 or 110 percentage, 110 percentage, both of these will get cancelled on both sides. We have S equals to C plus 100. Here we have S equals to 1.15C. So first equation tells us that selling price is 1.15 times of cost price, S equals to 1.15C. Second equation tells us that S is equal to C plus 100. From these two, can I not say 1.15C is equal to C plus 100? 1.15C, because both are S, right? So, 1.15C equals to C plus 100. 1.15C is 115 percentage. C is 100 percentage. Now, if you take it to the other side, what happens? 115 percentage minus 100 percentage is 15 percentage. Or 1.15C minus C is 0.15C. So, basically, 0.15C equals to 100. Solve this. C will come out to be 100 into 100 by 15. I mean, this is the simplification you need to do. 3 times and this is 20 times. 2000 by 3, 2000 by 3 is 666.66. That's a simple calculation. So, option B is the answer. However, like I said, you have to cut down all these steps. I mean, don't write these individual terms, right? You should be playing with these two equations directly to get the answer as 666.66. 2000 by 3, right? 2000 by 3, one third of 2000. Option B is the answer.